Hey everybody, this is just going to be a really quick video about Tribe Fest. Um, it's a month away, so I thought it'd be a good time to do that. It is 2020, so I just want to thank a minute for everyone who has been watching. Really appreciate it. Um, I'm almost at 30 subscribers, which, I mean, if anybody knows anything about YouTube, I will literally never profit off this channel, and I really just do it for fun, so appreciate you guys watching. Um, I've seen a lot of questions in these groups lately about what to do as far as how you get in and kind of the layout of things if anybody's never been to Tribe Fest before. It is at the Cleveland Convention Center. Um, every year they give away a hat. I apologize, it's pretty dirty. This was the one from three years ago, kind of just plain. Two years ago they gave this one out that's kind of cool with the skyline that goes all the way around. Last year it was this one, um, which is kind of cool, but I had tried to wear it with a gray jersey and the gray actually looks super green. I know this lighting's terrible, but it's kind of got like a greenish hue to it. Anyways, when you go into Trivest, you'll be given one of these programs. Um, you walk in, they'll probably scan your general admission ticket, I believe. So you go into the convention center, you go to the left, um, they usually scan your ticket then. You walk through a metal detector, very similar to the game. Then you go down these escalators and down this hallway, and that's when you first enter a Trivest. So. Uh, all your tickets are going to be in your MLB ballpark app, and I will show you guys that as well. Here's everything that's in your program. It's kind of just a general layout. I know this is really hard to see from there, guys. I have a really crude setup, but this comes in handy, um, you know, if you have autograph sessions and you're not really sure what to do in between, this lays out everything. There's a kid stage and a main stage, and it kind of goes through and shows you what time everything's happening and who's participating in it as far as players, coaches, all that good stuff. Um, the main thing in this that's important is this page, which is going to be your map of Tribe Fest. Uh, let's see if we can get a little better shot of this. Probably not. We'll give it a whirl. And my battery's dying. Oh, even better. I guess that's a little better. Anyway, so this is actually where you first walk into Tribe Fest. It says Key Bank Hats. That's where you can get your hats at. There's restrooms all along the side over here. This is mostly where all the kid stuff happens. The kid stage. Um, a lot of the little kid type things, balloon animals, like they have giant games, they have face painters. Um, you can do batting practice here. There's also like a little game type thing that they have here for kids. Um, here is the season ticket holder lounge, so you can go there and see kind of the layout of what tickets you have if you know your season ticket holder plan and your, uh, you know, there's like A and B if you have quarter season tickets and half season tickets. Um, concessions are here. There's little tables and chairs here, there's pitching cages, Lego art. This, like I said, this is from last year, so I don't know if it's going to be similar or not. Um, there's some portable concessions here. The main stage is where they have mostly the Q&As and some games with the players. These are all little vendor areas right here. Um, I don't really have time to walk through there usually because I get a lot of the autograph sessions, but I should have time this year because I only bought two sessions. Um, here's a couple other little games for kids to do. There's another little strike zone, and there's also another concession place here with little tables that you can sit at. Usually there's a uh, the little setup for the news people too, so if you walk in the background in this area, you'll probably be on the news. And um, you can also kind of wait while players are interviewing, and you might get an autograph. It's not guaranteed. In fact, it's pretty rare that they stop and sign something. So the, speaking of autographs, the most important part is going to be on this next page. So this is where the autographs happen. So it's actually going to be more laid out like this. Let's see if I can zoom in for you guys. Okay, so you're going to come down from the escalators um, from the main hallway. So you kind of have like the main area here in the convention center. And then there's like a hallway with escalators that lead down. So we'll check your tickets here and then they'll answer any questions you might have. Um, typically, this is how it's set up. So your autograph session A, B, C. D and E, and then the alumni is right here. This is exactly how it was the last two years. Um, at the front doors of all of these, you're going to have people standing there scanning your actual tickets for the autograph session. So you can start lining up early. Um, they typically like line you up against the wall here, and they have little, you know, clines, quines, <laughs> cues that you can go into. Um, once you get inside, there's also some more like roped off area, so they kind of try to filter people in as the last group is leaving. I mentioned that in the first Tribe Fest video, so if you walk into a ballroom and see Lindor and, you know, Jose, they typically don't put those people together, by the way, uh, but you see the three players, those players are going to be on their way out and new players are going to be coming in for your session. So don't get too excited. Sometimes one or two players will stick around for the next session, uh, but this also tells you what time everything is happening uh so it's pretty 
self-explanatory <laughs> like ballroom a is having autograph session a and so on and so forth so just pay attention to the time you know take your time going and looking at everything at tribe fest but if you did buy those autograph packages you don't want to miss out on that also with this it has to be a live ticket so like i said there'll be people standing here scanning your tickets they will not take screenshots i tried that last year because i was out of data on my phone thankfully the convention center has wi-fi so you're able to log on and get that pulled up through your ballpark app i'll also show you guys what that looks like shortly um with this program there's also kind of like exciting all right my camera died but like i was saying the rest of this is kind of just some extra information about the upcoming season um here's some stuff that this is obviously from last year so this has got some stuff about all-star week and uh let's see what else is in the back here there's your upcoming schedule so you can tear that right out of there if you want that here's some benefits to being a season ticket holder which i have a whole video about that um the back here is if you have anything for autographs so I do recommend bringing something of your own however they do have that team shop so you can go in there and grab something it's pretty much priced just like everything else um, in the regular team shop um, the only difference is they do have a couple different items like last year they had some banners that were hanging out front of the stadium in past years um, my buddy actually bought one they stunk terribly but they were actually pretty cool um, I bring a couple different items since this is my fourth year going. Uh, I actually have a giant flag, and here's what I did with that. So it's starting to fill up with uh, autographs. This probably won't focus, but here is like a markup of my actual flag. And then I went through a number to where all of my autographs are. And then on the back, I actually started writing down who has numbers where. So, um,. Who signature is what because it's starting to get a little complicated since this is my fourth year going and I uh, did go to spring training and I ended up getting a couple autographs and last thing I wanted to show you guys is the actual ballpark app where you can sh see your tickets. Um, I haven't checked to see if they're in here so let me take a look and show you what those will look like. Okay, so perfect. Here is my phone. I don't know if you able to see this or not. So here's my general admission tickets. Everything's loaded differently. So everything is separate. This is your ticket to get in. Um, see how that ball is moving? You probably can't see it. That's what they're looking for to make sure it's on a screenshot, is that that little ball is moving. So they do have a way to tell. Um, so then here is what I've bought. I bought the alumni session, and it tells you the times right on there. So if you forget, it does show you. And that's the other one I have. I also bought tickets this year. They have this VIP event. I've never been to that, but I'm definitely going to bring along my camera to show you guys. Um what goes on there but uh yeah if you have any other questions about tribe tribe fest excuse me to check out the uh, other videos i've made in the past um now i'm going to show you everyone that's confirmed that they're coming this year i would recommend following the tribe on social media if you're not already doing that facebook twitter instagram anything like that they do post these little photos when uh players confirm that they're going. I imagine they're gonna probably keep Lindor and Bieber in the same group with that all-star session that they just did this year um that's super fairly new if you want to check out some of my other videos i've made about tribe fest i do have a walkthrough from last year and a prep video from last year um if you have any questions just feel free to leave in the comments below i really appreciate you guys reaching out to me um it's kind of the whole reason i do this is to help other people who haven't experienced this stuff before and i do want to say this is probably my last year as a season ticket holder i actually have my last payment on my tickets in about two weeks so uh, just a lot of stuff going on in life and trying to settle down a little so um but in the future i do plan on checking out those tribe six packs that they sell for tickets so i'm gonna be able to still make these videos and fill you guys in on all the exciting stuff going on so um once again thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one